Hey everybody, welcome back, welcome back. My name is Kurt, aka the Vitruvian Gamer, and well, today part three of the playthrough, the solo playthrough of the uh, Boats and Banjos um, module of Sierra West game by Board and Dice. Um, we're doing okay in the fact that we built all our cottages already which is awesome uh, but we could still use a lot of more stuff to score points with uh, against this uh, Hastings guy so uh, let's start with my turn I got my three cards now a good thing about that is that I already uh, had the chance to look at them and uh, let's program this stuff so this is what I'm planning to do I'm not sure if it's a good thing and I'm messing up everything and uh, but we'll see so this is the plan of this man all right as we can see as you can see i've used an, one of those cards that i got from the mountain and um, yeah which is oh, the camera moved i guess everything is crooked now did i push everything oh boy it's normally it's easy folks but with the camera so uh this is my idea now but i and this but this has two empty spots so that's not good i do have my mule and i do have my two workers still available because they didn't follow on a track because the hastings didn't go up on a track so what i will do is uh there's no bear so i am going to send uh this guy here to this cabin which if you remember oh the cabin is not in plain sight this cabin down below there uh there we go here this allows me to use both of these powers both of the cabins powers uh, which might be interesting uh, we'll see we'll see so first of all the other guy is going to go on the track and he's going to have just a little stroll in nothingness and then we come to these two boots the pair of boots here um, now now I have to choose I could still go up the mountain get some new cards which uh, might be interesting but 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 but, but and or I could not do this and just get myself a pair of boots which is worth one point uh, or I can use it in the future I already have three pairs of boots by the way or I could hmm or I could do this but then I need one of each and I was thinking about doing that still because I need to get as high as he is right I really need to get up that track so and there is a way to get there but not with these pair of boots so I think I'm going to uh, I think I will spend the pair of boots myself so I'm going to use those two boots to climb up the mountain yeah let's see if we can get one of those other banjo cards just for the sake of this playthrough right so I'm going to climb up the mountain for two steps the mountain that is totally messed up because I pushed it uh, there we go and let me zoom out a little bit more again so we are going up the mountain again then we go further ahead one more now we're on that card okay next step is taking wood because I take only one this cabin activates because this one lets me use both of these which is pretty cool so I'm getting two wood so I get three wood now that might be very very useful okay now for the next step um, this guy can start moving now so first thing I'm going to do is to row my canoe two spaces and I'm going to row it all the way here as far as I can yeah that's what I will do now next step is fishing I'm going to do some fishing right over here I have to pay one resource sadly enough to do so so I spent that wood but I get a bunch of fish I get two of those brown fishies one of those white and one of those black fishies so I got a bunch of fish which is pretty cool <clears throat> but I want I, I prefer to have sets of the same ones uh, but I already have three sets of two which is pretty pretty neat uh, might be very useful okay next step is getting myself two stone and now I have to think again so 
I didn't get any food, so I still have to wait for this. I, I still want to have food at the end of the round. So do I want to take that new card, which might be interesting as well? Uh, yeah, I think I will, what? because because as you can see, this has a new power. Three paying three stones to go ahead on this track here, which might be well. You don't have to pay the boots for it, so that might be still interesting. So I and it's another card for my uh, collection. So I'm going to go here and spend those two resources, which is expensive, but I'll spend my two wood, I guess, two pieces of wood, to get this card, and I'm going to place it on top of my draw pile here, and then I could still, uh, will I or will I not? the one of these i think i'm not going to um this time yeah yeah i'm not going to do a summit action i could trade in gold with my mule uh, for resources so i could still do one of these here i could also do the fish thing which gives me a gold but if i trade these two fish <sighs> that gives me three gold right hmm so yeah, I'm not going to do this for sure. And I'm going to keep my stone for the action on the next card. So I hope I can keep my mule this round. And I should be able to keep it because I know there's no mule action here. So I hope I'm good here. So I'm not going to do any summit actions. I'm just going back home. And uh, that ends my turn. We go to Hastings. All right, let's see. By the way, Hastings did not uh, trap an animal because he was not going to trap at all. So there we go. Next card is this one here. It's a bear. Oh, we shall already have. Oh man, I cannot get any animals trapped here. Okay. What is he going to do? First of all, oh, and I don't like that. He's going to do this action again. Now, uh, we roll the die. Oh, that's going to score him points again. Let's roll that bones. Only a one. Okay, okay. That's uh, okay. So he's getting one of these, which means he has three different fishies. Uh, so he could exchange that at the end of the game for two gold. Hmm, that's still okay. And then he does the gold uh, digging or sifting action. So he's going to get. Oh boy. These stuff. So the, the stone go back. But he scores two points for that gold. Oh, not good. Not good at all. All right, that's his first action. He did a special module action. Next thing, not the height stuff. So that's not going to happen. He is taking the wheel action, which he cannot do anymore. So that's okay. He's already far ahead. And then he's going to move one step closer to the car on the cart. But he's already on a cart. So he stays there. And that's his round. That's all he's doing. So that was not too bad. Two points though of the gold. All right. All right, next turn. It's again my turn. Uh, let's see what we'll do. Oh, I needed to, needed to discard these, of course, and draw three new ones. I do know what the first one is. Of course, we do know that we got this. Okay, so again, we do have a fox again. So we. We, again, we will prefer to keep it on the left, so the so he won't trap it. Although he's not trapping, so I should not even be looking at that uh, thing. Okay, so hmm. I have these cards, and there are some new ones now with the uh, new icons with this uh, new card that I got. So we have a banjo, and we have the guy with the banjo. So this is r circled in red. So. I have to do this. Now in order to get past this, I have two options. Either my other worker is on one of these guys and then we can just go past it. It's a banjo duel. Or I have to take a wound. Again, like the bear means lose a cabin or go back on the track of my wagon, which I don't want to. So I'm going to want to have my tent track guy here before the other guy gets to here. So I have to plan that. I'm going to think a little bit and I'll be right back. But before I do that, I forgot something. I had to turn over this card, right? Because I captured the card. So there was another river card here. 
that's not which is not good because and that was in Hastings turn so before Hastings turn so Hastings got to he grabbed this piece of gold as well oh I almost forgot uh, you probably were shouting at the screen also that means I'm going down but this card gets revealed as well which pushes Hastings back down reveals this card as well and that means that Hastings because he got kicked out gets a pair of boots scoring one more point oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy okay there's only one card left right over here if that gets revealed then it's the end of the game okay so I'm <laughs> I'll start thinking again uh, there were some things I really wanted to do but there were some problems uh, as well with that um, because there <sighs> I could do this, for example, which gives me height, which is uh, well, gold and a fish, which is okay. Uh, but then again, I have to get past this, so I would have to do this, which would give me the, uh, not this action, but that action would still be worth two points if I got to do the gold sifting. So maybe I don't want to do the banjo action at all. So I might just want to put it like this. Which gives me some stone, some food. I need some food, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty neat. It gives me two shovel actions. Oh, will I be able to? Yeah, he might take another card. Uh, only ones, I think. So, yeah, I need some stone as well. So, yeah, I'm going to do it like this. So, I'm putting this card here. Whoopie. This one in the back. Whoop. And this one here on the right. Again, he's not trapping this round. As you can see, no trapping. It's not highlighted. So that means we can do whatever we wish to do. Uh, so we don't have any double boots. Uh, so none of my cabins have any use this time. So that's a little bit sad. Uh, so I'm just going to go for a walk, I guess. So. Uh, and sadly I don't have double boots, but hey, we're going to do one boot to get to that f uh, close card there, that available card, and uh, then we get some food, and then, oh, I want to get further, okay, then I'm going to do, oh, I need wood, so I'm going to go with my other fellow here, taking two stone. And will I do the shovel action? Because this is important again. Um, I will. I will definitely do that. So I'm going to pay. I need that food for sure. I'm going to pay one stone to shovel and get that card. So I get a new card, which allows me to pay two resources for any fish. And I can do that as many times as I wish. Again, the hide action. Yeah. 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 Uh, this is not that fancy though. Oh, fish, fish, fish. I think I'm, I think I'm not going to t put it on top this time. So I'm going to put it in my discard pile now. And then the next step is go to get, get some wood. Okay, so I got some resources. Uh, I could do another shovel action, but I'm not on a card. So, but I could still move here if I wish. But the first thing I will do is pay two boots. So, well, one boot token and pay uh, and pay one of each, one stone, one food and one wood to move on the track once. All right. And next step is I'm not going to do another shovel action. Oh, wait, I need to put use my mule now. So I'm going to use my mule to exchange one gold piece Exchange one gold piece for one stone. There we go. And then this guy, he will move to the summit action where I can pay three stones. Three stones to move ahead once more. That's cool. And now this guy is going to get stuff. And he's getting, well, stone, gold, and gold. So I got two more gold, which is pretty neat. So there we go. Uh, that stone goes back to the supply. And I'm getting close there. That's pretty cool. 
Uh, so, uh, the other guy, what will we do? Well, he can move once. Uh, so let's do that, I guess. Let's go up that mountain. And yeah, get one more stone. All right, so we're back at two stones. I can still use that mule if I want to, to get more stuff because I could go up on these tracks some more, which scores me at this moment three points each time I go up the track. And a gold is only worth one point. Yeah, I might do so. Although I do have that card that can I can pay two gold to get further on that track. So I do want to keep some gold. So I for now, I'm going not to do that. Um, so I'm staying here, going back to the camp and discarding my cards. Excuse me. Well, all right. There we go. End of turn. I draw three new cards. This one lets us exchange fish to go up on a track. So two of these fish would give me three gold. Go up on the track would give me three points. So hmm, we'll see. All right. Three different fish to go up on any track. I don't want to give away those sets. And there we go. That's the other one. All right. But first it's Hastings turn. And Hastings, well, he will draw a new card. And he has a fox. Oh, a fox. So I don't have a fox. This is finally getting interesting for my hunters. Um, I'm going to spend a stone. So I throw a stone at the fox and I trap it. Uh, there we go. We turn around our fox trap. That's three points more at the end of the game, uh, which is pretty neat. Then we put the card right over here. And what will he do? Well, he's going to up on the wagon track, which he can't. Then he will do that action again. Oh, this action again. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. So he will roll the die again. Oh, he's killing me there. Three, which means he gets a black fish. There we go. And he will do the gold sifting thing again. Let's see what he gets. He gets a stone. One gold and another stone. So that's one point worth. Okay. Next action is shovel. Finally, he says, I can shovel. So again, we see if he's on a card, he will, well, if his uh, right guy is on a card, he will get that card. But his right guy is downstairs. So he's just going to get, and it's the right guy, the right cabin. And he's going to score points for that at the end of the game. No. Okay, and that's his turn. That's all he wrote. There we go. I'm glad he's not taking my mule. That's cool. Um, then we move this and let's play one more round in this episode. Yeah, why not? So his turn is over already over and I'm going to... Hmm, I'm. What am I going to do? I would love to get back to the... To, uh, this, uh, to the market ah, and I would love to fish so I might want to do something like this so I could well I could go one further then I could fish and then in this action I could go back to the marketplace that sounds like a good idea so I think yeah I think I just made my plan yeah that's what we're going to do there might be better things to do but uh, I'm not so good at thinking things through perfectly. Uh, so, and I'm sorry, you should see me there, camera in front of me, it's just craziness to get this done, but all right, that's pretty cool. So we have some dudes waiting to do some stuff, no bears, no double boots either, so I can't use any of my cabins this time, so I can just move really, oh, I forgot by the way, that I should have put one of my guys on the trap spot, but that's okay. So let's go and have some fun. First, this guy is going to ooh, canoe further down the stream. And then he's going to fish. It cost me my last piece of wood, but we are going to fish two white fish. Two of these Tanned fish and one black fish. So I've got a lot of fish this uh, at this moment, and it's time. Well, let's go get some wood as well. 
it's time for me to do, 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 do the sale uh, canoe anywhere action let's canoe back to the marketplace and now it's time to get some stuff so first of all i'm going to trade three of the same fish i could do two twice but i might want to do some resources as well so yeah let's trade three of this same and they go back to the supply and that gives me four gold wow four gold now i got some gold i'm going to do the same thing with these tanned fishes because you can do this how many times you want and that gives me four more there we go now if you were about to run out of supply you can use this multiplier token so you could put one of these and uh, as a five time stuff but well, pl while playing solo i guess they, i won't run out maybe i still have three of these left but will i do that for all that gold i might want to keep i could go up on one track of my choice which might be very cool to do as well yeah i'm going i'm not going to do that so i'm just going to spend oh no i'm not i'm stopping here this is what i've done so that's my market action it's a free action that you can do next is move so let's go up ahead that mountain and get go and try to get that card get one food and i only have two wood and one food at this moment which is enough to go on this track here mm, that's okay but i still want leftover resource to get hmm yeah to get well to hunt if i want so i'm going to do the mule action again play one to get a stone yep perfect i'm not going to take a card or a thing here so i'm going to move past this and i'm going to do this first i'm going to spend one fish of each type there we go to go up on any track let's get up the gold track i cannot get higher than that but i'm on top of it he cannot get there either because it's blocked now uh, the top uh, part then my other guy here is going to this and he's going to spend two blackfish to go up on this track here which gives me a pair of boots and then last but not least Mr. Mule is going to this spot. I'm paying two wood and a food to go up on that track again and get myself another pair of boots. Awesome. And that's going to be it, folks. I'm going back home. I'm going to remove my cards. Now I think I want to finish this game. Uh, so I'm, I really want to get some cards from the mountains so I can end this game. So uh, let's go to Hastings. Hastings is going to have a bear, which I already have, sadly enough. And he's not trapping again, uh, but he is getting a card. The left guy is getting a card, so he will take that card. He's going back down. There we go. He just scores that at the end of the game as well. There we go. Next thing is go up on this track here. Gives him a gold. And I could follow if I want with one of my workers to go up. Oh, and I need my three cars because I need to see if that's useful or not to get a stone. I want gold. I have some gold. So that's very cool that I have this now. Do I want some resources or not? Do I want some stone? Or do I want to have my guys below? I've got two bears, so I definitely want this fellow to go on, on that cabin. Uh, besides that, I don't see an, much reason not to follow. So this guy will follow the action and get that stone. Yep, that's what he'll do. he get the stone. All right, next action. Shovel action again. He is not on a cart with this left worker, so he will build the left cabin scoring his more points more and more points for him okay and that ends his round 
this goes away this goes away we slide it through it's more important for him than for me these things uh, and uh, yeah that ends his turn and that ends this part or do I do one more let's do one more folks let's do one more I'm I'm on a roll so uh, two heights is also pretty neat so I might uh, is he going to hunt he is not going to hunt so I could do it like this allows me to go fishing again but I'm not sure I want to go fishing maybe I want oh maybe I want to do something like this gives me some more gold give me two hide actions enough boots to go there yeah that looks pretty neat I don't get yeah but that's okay I don't get any food or wood though but still it's good okay so I'm going to do this so get this card here underneath Ooh. and on top of this there we go this is what I will be doing okay so first we have this guy here did I he's going to go on his cabin Doo -doo -doo. and that means now the other guy can go la 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 oh a hide I get a gold a stone and a fish a gold, a stone, and a fish. What can we do? Which fish will we take? Is it important? I guess it is. So let's take one of these. Next is we go to the bear. And out there I've got two bears. I can only skip it once. So I think I'm just going to pay one resource to get past this bear. And then I'm going on the hide again. So again, a stone, a gold. And a fish. Let's take the same type that we already got. Okay, now we go to the bear again. This time we're going to ignore it and instead just get a pair of boots. And now our friend here can go on his adventure. But let's just do something else first. Let's go to the summit action here. Pay two gold and finally get on the far furthest part of the track. And now the other guy is going to walk once. Get a gold. I can pedal anywhere I want to go. Whew. Pretty neat. Get another step. Get another gold. And... Yeah, I'm just going to go up on that track here now. So pay two of these fishes to go up on... Uh, this track here which gives me the mule which I already have and will the mule do I think if I do this I pay two resources yeah but it's worth four points so I will so I'm going to go here going to spend two gold to get a food and a wood and then the mule will go here spend one of each to go up on any track of my choice and let's do this one because it gives me a pair of boots Pum. and go back home end of turn around and Hastings turn I draw up to three cards I draw this one and two more but my draw pile is empty so shuffled it so yeah I'm doing pretty well here I really want to finish this game because I might be winning I'm not sure all right we get one of these again so I could go and fish I do also want to do this to get that card all right we'll see first of all we have Hastings and Hastings gets a rabbit oh this is the moment to get the rabbit folks we don't have the rabbit yet so first before anything else we're going to see what we will do there's no there is no bear so I'm definitely going to trap with this guy here so and spend a stone to capture the rabbit all right which gives will give us food if we get another hide okay now Hastings will do his actions first of all again up this track he can't then he do, does the special action again so he's going to roll the die uh, he gets a two, which means one of those brown fishes. 
And he will get some stuff again, but there's only one left, so gold. One point still. All right, next action. He's not going to shovel, but he will go up on the mountain with the right guy. So he's going to the closest card on the right side. That's it. That's his round. Wow, he's... I think I'm... I think I might... Uh, might be able to win this. But that might be... F I think we'll end the game next time. So I'm going to end it here for part three. Thank you for watching. I hope I don't make too many mistakes. If I do, let me know in the comments below. There's nothing I can do about it now, but hey, uh, I try my best. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. If you do, feel free to give thumbs up. If you uh, want to see more in the future and if you're not subscribed yet, well, there is this red button that says subscribe or even the bell icon so you can see whenever I post anything new. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. See you all very soon. See you all in the future. Bye-bye.